Hi, I'm Melissa with the Shook IoT products team. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our brand new software release, Shook IoT Fusion Cloud Historian. Shook IoT Fusion is the premier cloud historian for the Microsoft Azure platform. We've partnered with Microsoft to leverage our decades of industrial data science expertise to create a massively scalable solution that allows our customers to accelerate artificial intelligence, machine learning, and big data analytics. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of how Fusion fits into the Microsoft Azure platform. And we're going to go over some of the basic functionality and terms that you'll want to know as you get started with Shook IoT Fusion. Fusion leverages the power of Shook IoT Essentials to deliver maximum value to our Cloud Historian customers. And you'll see some footage of it in action as we go through my talk today. If you want to learn a lot more about Essentials, please check out our Getting Started with Shook IoT Essentials video. And if you want to see how Shook IoT Fusion has helped our customers get more out of their data, you'll want to check out our success story video. I've put a link to both videos in the description below. Shook IoT Fusion is at the heart of the Microsoft Azure solution. Data comes from any SCADA system or IoT device you might have and into an Azure IoT hub. Now we have an opportunity to do any data pre-processing that we want to do on it. Maybe you want to perform some analysis to clean up data points with a bad or uncertain quality. Or maybe you want to remove duplicate values. The IoT hub is versatile and lets you have complete control over how your data is stored. Is it going to be stored in Microsoft Time Series Insights, Data Lake, Azure Databricks? It's completely tailored to your specific needs. High priority tags can be stored for analysis and reporting, whereas some tags that were previously too cost prohibitive to store at all can be routed to low cost, long term storage instead. Shook IoT Fusion is 100% compatible and ready to go with Microsoft Time Series Insights version 2 which was just released at the time of this recording. Because everything is done through Microsoft Azure, you also have unlimited freedom for performing analysis and generating reports. You can keep using all the tools you already know and love, tools like Microsoft Power BI, or you can connect as many third-party IoT apps as you want. The data is stored securely, and it's freely accessible to you anywhere that you are in the world. For my samples today, all of the data is coming from a SCADA system that I have running in the Azure cloud. It's connected up to an IoT hub. We've created a powerful connector module for Ignition that will automatically take data from Ignition, store it safely into Microsoft Time Series Insights, and then use Shook IoT Fusion to provide all of the reference data, which brings context and clarity to all of the archive data points. If you want to know more about how our Ignition connector works, I've put a link for that video in the description below as well. This is Shook IoT Essentials, the heart of all Shook IoT Fusion solutions. There are a few terms that you should probably know as you use Fusion. We've tried to keep our terminology consistent with industry standards, but they sometimes vary. And in those cases, we've tried to come up with terms that are intuitive. On the left-hand side of the window, we've got assets. Assets are defined as real-world objects or locations that have meaningful data defined for them. These assets can be defined by various properties, which include specifications, measurements, and components. Specifications are static pieces of data used to describe an asset. This might include data such as the serial number or manufacturer, but it might also contain information that comes from a maintenance system, such as the date the asset last had maintenance performed on it, and who performed that maintenance. Measurements are variable pieces of data associated with an asset. These measurements are usually data points that come from sensors on or around the asset. And they provide information such as temperature, pressure, or the digital state that something is currently operating in. In a traditional industrial setting, these are often referred to as tags. An assembly is an asset that consists of smaller assets working together to perform a specific function. These sub-assets are called components and they're treated the same way in Fusion as all other assets. Components may be atomic, that is, they're the smallest type of asset in your organization, or components may have subcomponents of their own. Let's consider another example. This is a house. A house contains an air conditioner, and the air conditioner is made up of smaller parts, a motor and two fans. 
The house is an asset of type house. It has several specifications, such as the street address and the name of the house's owner. It has several measurements associated with it, such as the current indoor temperature and the reading on the natural gas meter on the side of the home, or maybe has a sensor indicating the amount of solar energy being produced by the solar panels. The air conditioner is an assembly asset of type air conditioner and is contained within the house. The air conditioner has specifications of its own, such as the serial number and manufacturer, and it has a measurement for what the temperature the air conditioner has been set to. It also has three components, being the motor and two fans. There are two fans. Each fan has a separate function within the air conditioner. One fan has the function of inlet fan, and the other has the function of exhaust fan. These each have measurements for the speed of that fan. For the asset hierarchy, we're seeing something very similar to the way operators in a plant have been visualizing the assets that they have to take care of. There is a very common plant area unit hierarchy, typical to a lot of plants that we're seeing here. Except in this small example, we're looking at a house air conditioner motor fan. This is a location-based asset hierarchy. You know exactly where an asset is because of where it's located. Where's my air conditioner? It's in my house. Your air conditioner will be located in your house, and both of them will be in the same hierarchy. This doesn't always work for everyone though. The maintenance team responsible for repairing the equipment might want to group them by manufacturer or by some other kind of cost reporting structure. Shook IoT Fusion supports multiple hierarchies, allowing you to use your data the way that it makes sense for you. The other main part of Shook IoT Fusion are the templates. Templates are a great way of tracking the various types of equipment you might have, and it's a great way of rapidly adding new equipment into Fusion. Maybe it's not just one house with an air conditioner in it. Maybe it's an entire building with dozens of air conditioners. Or maybe it's a factory with hundreds or thousands of motors, each performing a similar task. It would be cumbersome to have to model each and every asset individually. Not when you can just build one, create a template from it, and then use that template to quickly build dozens or hundreds more. Assets use a location-based physical hierarchy. Templates are visualized slightly differently. This is an example of a taxonomy. If you aren't familiar with that term, let me give you a very basic example. Let's start with animals. There are at least two different kinds of animals. We've got mammals and we've got reptiles. They have some things in common, but a lot of differences. In a taxonomy, Properties are inherited from the parent template type. Mammals are warm-blooded. Reptiles are not. Cats, dogs, and humans all inherit the warm-blooded property from the parent type of mammal. Then, each of these subtypes can have their own properties that are unique. Cats purr and hiss. Dogs bark and growl. Humans talk, sing, and make YouTube videos. For our air conditioner example, the template hierarchy, or taxonomy, would look something more like this. We have different types of air conditioners, different types of buildings, and different types of motors. The air conditioner is composed of fans and motors, but these are defined by the component properties of air conditioner and not by the taxonomy hierarchy. That's a lot of information to take in, and we still haven't covered how to visualize the data from our SCADA system inside Time Series Insights, or how to create a report in the powerful reporting tools such as Power BI. We're going to cover these topics and a lot more in future videos. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of all of our new Shook IoT content. And if you have any questions, please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And you can visit us at www.shookiot.com fusion to learn how Shook IoT Fusion can help you with your digital transformation.